Seeger song, Beautiful Loser, you know, and it's on, uh, it's, uh, and the words in the song, you know, like, oh, I don't know, a month or so ago, I was. It's when you were talking about yesterday, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right, I was telling you about it yesterday. Yeah. Well, last night when I got on the computer, this other lady that I listened to was talking about the timelines converging, you know, and I'm thinking, wow, that's tripping because, uh, the song for like a few weeks I couldn't find it the way I remembered it man right but then like a day or two ago I found it the way I remember it but if you go to Google and you like search the lyrics for the song you know and they write out what the lyrics are they're not the same as I remember them. and then if you go to other videos they're they're uh, you know they're not quite the same as I remember them either but like I said a couple days ago, I found a video, and it, it had it? it exactly the way I remember it. It's on a live album. That's what I was gonna say. Is it live or something? Is it yeah. something not that's? Yeah, it's live. Mass produced. Yeah, it was a live album. Oh, it was mass produced, but. but so not. then the lady says timelines converging, and it made me think. You know, wow. Timelines converging. Well, maybe the timelines were converging because it was to me. I thought it was a Mandela effect because right. I, I couldn't find what I knew it, remembered it to be, right. you know? But now you can get on the internet and you can find it both ways. It's my, the way I remember it and it's the way it is. I thought that was pretty tripping, man. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't hear nothing about the timelines converging. Says it, right? She never says it. You'll never find it, buddy. You won't find that. I was pretty shocked when I saw you say that, but I see it's not in there. I didn't say it. Uh, that's what they. I haven't looked. I meant to look last night. Not there, Rick. Not there. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought about it yesterday and I was like, oh, I'm gonna see if I can find that video and I just Googled it and I saw it right away. I was like, oh, there it is. I didn't even look at it because I was like, oh, it's right there. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that. <laughs> what the fuck? They're even bringing light to the fact that it's not there because they're saying, Lucy, you got some explaining to do. Well, if that was never there, then they wanted to wrote that, but they did write it and then they're not showing it. Yeah. They're, they're pointing out the fact that that is... I mean, that's a catchphrase for I Love Lucy. <laughs> that's what I was thinking last night. I was thinking, oh man, I, I wonder if I can find fucking I Love Lucy saying I, you got some explaining to do. But I, I didn't look. Because I mean, I it might picture, be out there in now. In my head, I could picture him walking through the door. Oh, he said it, it a million times. And I fucking yeah. heard it. I used to say it to Linda all the time. You got some explaining to do. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but you won't find it. It does not exist. That's funny. I just thought about that now. Like, the only other name I'm allowed to call my wife is Linda. No, really? Yeah. Listen, Linda, from that fucking uh, Linda, 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 Linda. Since that yeah. shit, I've called her Linda. <laughs> yeah. That little kid. Listen, Linda. Linda, Linda, Linda. Linda. <laughs> yeah, that's a flat out trip. That that is not in I Love Lucy. I didn't fucking believe you. I was like, I'm gonna go home and find it right away. And I brought home, well, last night I thought about it. For some reason I was like, I'll find that clip. 
and it just popped up. So I just, I thought, I, oh, that's a clip, no big deal. I just show up tomorrow. <laughs> It ain't there, man. That's fucking crazy. I've looked. I almost went through the... I was almost going to watch every fucking episode of I Love Lucy there was. I was going to order the fucking set and watch every loot. And that's the thing. I was even going to tell Jennifer. I was going to tell her, like, hey, Todd said this. And I was like, nah, I better check before I start. Because she's just going to give me shit. Yeah, you know? I mean, I bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> now I can tell her that. <laughs> yeah, that's the tripper to me, man. That's a big one. It is. We used to lay there in bed all the time, watch I Love Lucy. Yeah. Little baby house we had. I mean, that blows my mind, really. It does, because I know it was fucking there. And yeah, and everyone said it. Fuck, I... Yeah. Everybody I said it. I heard my dad say it, <laughs> Yeah. It's not like what you're talking about. I'm not on that shit. Tripping. Tripping. Yeah, when you showed me that, I was like, oh God, the time on your again. There it is. <laughs> no, I was expecting to walk to the door and say it to her when she was doing the grapes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, that song, see what, I don't know if I told you yesterday, but the difference in the song is uh, he says, the way I remember it is he says, you just can't have it all. No, 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 no. That's the way it is now. You just can't have it all. And you know, it's said like five or six times. You just can't have it all. But the way I remember it was, you just don't need it all. Now those are two completely different meanings, right. man. Two right. totally different philosophies. Yeah. You know? Need is a big word. To, to say you don't need it all, well, that means you're, you're content and you're happy and you're fucking, you don't need it. But to say you can't have it, that means you're, you're trying to get something that's not unobtainable, you know? Right. So uh, that's also part of the tripping part there, you know? It's like the good or a bad version of the song. And, and it really makes me wonder, I mean, did he just sing it different? You know, did he record it one way and write it one way, but then when he was live, sing it another way? He said it that way? I don't know. Oh. Because it doesn't be. really make sense to sing it the way it's supposed to be now. You just can't have it all. It don't. Well, but I mean, you've heard the song how many times? How many well, times have you sung that song? A, a ton. I, it, was, it was a song, you know, when I was fucking right. 12 years old and I had fucking five or six albums and a badass yeah, fucking you sung it over player. and over and over yeah. all day long. Yeah. <laughs> but now I don't know if I was listening to the live version or, you know, Truly, I don't know if that was the live version I, I remembered in my head. And at the time, even the other version was different, you know? I don't know. Oh. But it seems to me like it's a Mandela effect, but part of that Mandela effect has come back. Because Mandela effects, you know, sometimes they come back around or right. glimpses of them pop up and shit. Right. That's what I'm thinking. Or, you know, it's tripping. It's fucking trips me out. Yeah, this Mandela effects, there's more than one, so that's what's trippy too, you know, it's, there's a whole bunch out there, you know, I'm trying to think of a few, but it's like, there's a lot of them, really. There's a ton of them, man. One of them that got me good was, and I don't even remember it, but it was cereal boxes. Yeah. Cereal that boxes one of them. are fucking, and, and fucking Cuba being fucking as big as it is and below Florida, for me, that, I don't remember that. But I could be wrong on that one. Hell, I can be wrong on all of them. It don't really matter, you know? Nowadays. Yeah, now it's like, dude, we know we know. And, you know, yeah. they can say what they say, but... You no, know, we know. It's like I'm... I've been fucking waiting for today. Today's when they fucking say that. The BRICS countries all, all meet and fucking decide on what they're doing with the U.S. dollar. And, like today's a big day in fucking the bricks, the bricks, whatever you want to call them. Well, man, you know, I think what it is is like 
they're trying to wake people up to what's going on, you know? But, and they're gonna do it with war because they are the fucking army. The army's the one running the shit. They've been running the shit for a while now, and they're, they're not giving up control until we tell them it's, you know, until we demand it, you right. know? And we can't demand it if we don't even know they're the ones running shit. So their way is, well, let's make everybody get mad and rise up and change this shit. But we can't tell them the truth. We're just going to lead them along and fucking throw them a little bit of info and then... But the goal is to blow up the fucking evil shit that's on the planet, you know? Yeah. The fucking Washington Monument. That is the goal. Once that's destroyed, but they're going to do it with war, you know? Oh, yeah. They're going to use war to do it, but the, the intention of the war is to blow up all the evil shit that's in the world. Well, fuck that. I think they should just tell everybody the truth, you know, let them... Uh, let everybody... Let, let everybody figure it out. And do then, justice to whoever needs it. And then everybody will agree to blow up Washington. Right. And everybody will turn their television on to see the monument blow up, you know? If if everybody could come to agreement on that, like, hey, it's been an evil world, we need to rid the world of all the evil right. structures, you know, and shit, foundations, we need to blow that shit up. If everybody could agree on that, then they wouldn't have to go to war. Because they're going to war to blow that shit up. That's what I think. And you know, that's the thing, they're making people, once, once someone believes something, it's hard for them to disbelieve it. You know, once someone sees it, believes it, you believe in it, you, that's it, you believe in your shot, you're gonna go get the booster for the new thing, a you know, new variant coming out and all this shit. You know, they don't, they still, even though they know they're wrong now, I can still see my sister going and getting her fucking shot. <laughs> you know, and, even though she's told me she's shut up. <laughs> and I thought it over, you know, and, and, and on the, sh the there's two scenarios for the vaccine coming back. And one is, um, well, let's think it out. I can't think now. I mean, there's a million reasons why they could roll it back. You know, they're bringing it, because well, what I'm hearing is it's, it's the, uh, COVID's back. COVID's back here, you know, there's people in the hospital saying it's back. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it. It's it's here. You know, people are, that are running to get the shot, there's a, a nurse talking about it. You know, the symptoms are like before, headaches, well, body aches, cough. One of them is they want to start a civil war, you know? Civil war is one, that, yeah. That's one of the options is yeah. let's start a civil war because that will people will go down now for that. Well, know? they've tried the race card already. they tried, you know, all this stuff. Yeah. They had all these riots up there, you know, in New York. It didn't work. People ain't racist no more. I mean, they might try to make people think they are, but, you know, there's, yeah, there's a few out there. There's a few bad cops. There's a few racist people. There's, you know, all kinds of bad fucking people. Shit, people are going to fight now for that mask. Uh, I guarantee you. You know, there was instances back in the, where there people were fighting and I... Now it's going to be a fucking knockout, drag out, you know it? You tell me to wear a mask now, I'm going to be like, fuck you, lick my balls. Yeah. You tell me I can't that. go here, there, yeah. canceling, canceling flights, canceling trips, canceling. You know, like. People are fed up with that. They ain't gonna, so it's either they want civil war or they're testing uh, the, the pulse. Yeah. Of people. They want to see if people are going to take that shit again. Are they willing to fucking take right. that? Because I think, and I really think that's it. There, it's not, none of that's going to happen. There's not, but they're just testing the pulse of the people, or maybe they'll roll it out just to see the reaction of the people, you know? It's either that or they want to start a fucking big fight around here. That's funny you say because did I show you the video of the pulse where all those people just went, <laughs> all fell down at once? Uh uh, where was that at? It's, uh, it's I don't know where it was. It was at a concert, another concert. But it's that's people. how I see it. it. It's either they want us to start a civil war or they want to take the Pulse of America and see if we're to the point now where we're not going to take that bullshit no more. Right. Yeah, the people, people are at the, like I said, they're at their limit. 
they're, they're on the edge. You yeah, know? people that could see the bullshit, and you're gonna ask them to return to the bullshit? Uh uh. There's too many eyes that have been open the last time. It's surely it's just so they can figure out where we're, everybody's at. Because the whole point is to make everybody see what's been going on. Right. But what's been really been going on is your vote is never ever counted. You know, I don't hear them saying that. All I hear them saying is, oh, Trump, they cheated, and you know, fuck yeah, they cheated. We all know that. It's Democrat or Republican. I'm for something different. You right? Know? <laughs> I'm going green, motherfucker. <laughs> I want something different. I don't even want your vote shit. It's so simple, you know, you could Yeah, your vote's never counted. Everybody thought it has. I still think it has. Even people that don't that believe the election was stolen, they still believe that their vote counted the time before. Right. Now, you know, wake up, buttercup. <laughs>